I'm Lakshya Sen and I'm a badminton player from India. And with that, we're looking at badminton's next gen. India's next badminton superstar. With a naturally attacking playing style, Lakshya has had a breakthrough year in 2022. He secured his first HSBC BWF World Tour title as a senior player at the Super 500 Indian Open. And that is a great way to win his inaugural Indian Open. Four, getting into back-to-back -back finals at the German Open as well as the All England in March. He then brought out his A game big time in a Thomas Cup final playing as the first men's singles by beating Indonesia's Anthony Ginting, giving India the perfect launch pad towards the incredible win at the Thomas Cup. Big wins and success like this doesn't come overnight. When I was 10, uh, I was spotted by uh, the Prakash Padukone Academy. And having an important team around is priceless, which included Laksha's parents, his brother Shirak Sen, who's also currently an international badminton player. Laksha is also well supported by his coaches and mentor, including India's badminton legend Prakash Padukone. Throughout his junior years, meant he was able to develop at a good pace and cemented his status as a top junior player by winning the 2018 Asian junior title when he beat Kunlavut Vititsan in the final. That win made many take notice of Laksha Sen, including me. In 2019, Laksha won five senior titles in a period of three months from September to December with three international challenger tournaments and two super 100s. This to me was a huge sign of things to come for this young man aged only 18 at the time. Fast forward to this year's Indian Open and you can see Laksha soaking it all up and showing the world why he's leading the next generations in charge of men's singles in the badminton world, even beating the reigning world champion Lo Kien Yu in the final. The Indian Open was also Laksha's first world tour level title and at super 500 level, it's a big one. Well, I managed to speak to Laksha a few times at the All England earlier this year and found he's super chilled and easy to talk to. First All England final, how are you gonna relax tonight? Can you sleep tonight? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely try to sleep. And uh... He's also very honest about his game and is acutely aware of what and where he needs to work on to get onto the next level. Uh, it was really hard to uh, put the shell down. I was making a crucial errors uh, like uh, lifting the shell out from the back and I couldn't get that control today in the first game so yeah, I think that was a difference. It's no easy feat getting to back-to-back -to -back finals at the German Open at the All England and this sign of maturity and pace of development certainly bodes really well for Laksha. In terms of big match wins or giant killings, Laksha has had wins against top players like Victor Axelsen, Anas Antonsen, Anthony Ginting, Li Zijia and Lo Kian Yu. And if we keep the big matches talking point, we certainly can't avoid understating Laksha's contribution to India winning the Thomas Cup earlier in May. Laksha actually lost three of the five matches he played in that campaign, losing to Victor, Zijia and Zhou Tianchen, but certainly came good big time in the finals against Anthony Ginting. It's certainly not how you start, but certainly how you finish, and it's very certain that Laksha is a big game player and certainly thrives in these situations. Unsurprisingly, Laksha is now ranked inside the top 10 in the world and is by far the youngest player there. The only other player in the same age bracket as Laksha in the top 25 is Kunlavut Vititsarn, and I believe these two will be the superstars for the next gen. To quickly put that into perspective, let's look at some numbers. Laksha currently has a win rate of 72% from about 270 matches over his young career. Remember, Laksha is only 21. A win rate of over 70% is a significant milestone in professional sports. So, in comparison, Victor has a win rate of 76% in his career with around 600 matches under his belt, keeping in mind that Victor is 7 years older than Laksha. We then have the legends Lin Dan and Li Chong Wei who have win rates of 83 and 84% respectively over their long and illustrious career. The standard bearer for 2022 is certainly Victor in the men's singles department with a 97% win rate, winning 34 out of his 35 contested matches this year guess who he lost to. I'm certainly very excited to see Laksha continue to develop and will be following his career very closely as he moulds himself into one of the best players in the world. He's certainly part of the next gen. Who should I be focusing on in the next episode of Next Gen? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.